Hello guys and welcome to this new Gothic 1 video tutorial. So today we will talk about trading items so buy and sell from the merchant. We will see how to do that. I have already made another video on the subject but I wanted to make a new version, I hope a clearer one because I thought uh, it was better to explain some things in a different way. So let's just jump into the game. Alright, so we are at the old camp, we are in the market area, we have Fisk right here, he is a merchant. To talk with a character, we press Ctrl and up arrow and we will start the conversation. You have to keep the control key pressed when you make an action. Unless of course you have uh, changed the settings and the control settings, check that out, but I am going with the defaults, so I will be playing with them. So we go with show me your goods, we can move between conversations with the arrows, and we go with show me your goods, press enter. And these things pops up. So this is the exchange area, let's say. So on the left we have the items from the merchant, on the middle we have the exchange columns where we, where we have to um, match a value. We will see that in a moment. And on the right we have our own items. So let's say I want to move on the on my own items. I am on the left now. I can move between items with the down and up keys. Let's say I want to move on my items, I will go with the right arrow key. So basically, to move between items, you use the arrow keys. Up, arrow, down, arrow, left and right arrows. And now to move between categories, I am on miscellaneous now. And I have to press left key to move to writings, potions, food, artifacts, magic, armor and weapons. And same thing on the opposite, from weapons to move to Michelin's right key. And you will move with, uh, with every, time, every time you press, you change one category. Now, the middle columns work like this. Now, let's say I want to sell some weapons, because I have a lot of weapons, I want to sell some of them. And get some, uh, for example, some ore nuggets. So, I... Press the control key and I keep it pressed and on the highlighted item of course so the, I want to sell this uh, maze for example control key pressed left arrow and I move it in the middle column same thing with this word one by one and then selling all of them okay so let's say I do not want to sell this uh, uh, sword for uh, some reasons. I will go with the down arrow and then move to another item. So let's say I want to say sell this uh, uh, axe for example. Control key pressed and left arrow. I press left arrow each time to move one single item. I'm selling all this stuff so now I can uh, already give him this stuff for free if I want but of course it doesn't make sense. So I want to have something in exchange. And let's say I want to get some or nuggets. Now of course uh, you have to match the value in the two columns. So the middle column have 0 on the left and 1600 on the right. So it says that it means that I'm giving him the, uh, items for a value of 1622 and he's giving me 0, so nothing. To move items from the merchant to the to buy something from him, I have to go on his items. So let's say I am on my items, I go with the left arrow, I'll move to the middle column, the left arrow again, and I will move to his stuff. Now to buy something, I have to keep the control key pressed and I press the right arrow. Now, of course, will, this will take a lot of time, so there is uh, another way to do this. So there are items that are stackable and not stackable. So as you see, for example, the pick locks, the ore nuggets are stackable, uh, the wings are stackable, the keys are not, for example, or the weapons are not. 
and there are some other items you can see for example the meat so food in general is usually stackable, stackable potions and so on rings or that kind of equipment armors and weapons are not stackable so you will see them one by one in gothic 2 for example um, item, items like weapons and uh, uh, I think, um, I don't remember, maybe even rings, but I'm not sure if I'm saying correct, but so, there are some items that are stackable, like weapons, that one I'm sure about. So to move, there is a way to move more items at the same time. I press the control and shift key together, I keep them pressed, that's uh, important. So control, shift and then right arrow, and I move 100 items at a time. So as you can see, I, I'm keeping the control and shift key pressed and I press the right arrow and I move 100 units at a time. Okay, let's say the trade is going like this. So I have Fisk giving me stuff for 1717 of value and I am giving him less. So if I try to go with enter, and then accept this won't work because I am not giving him enough so I have to match the the number on the left I have to give him at least the same amount or more so let's say I move some more nuggets back because I don't want to sell anything else now if I go like this I can accept the trade so let's try to go like this for example you see there is a, a one unit of difference but I still can't accept now if I go with this, this will work, I can accept, but I, also, I can also accept, it doesn't make sense of course, but can happen sometimes, I can also, you don't have to match, uh, let's say you don't, you can give him more, so let's say I'm like this and uh, I, I don't have anything else to buy, and I don't want to move items from my, from my inventory, because you know sometimes that can happen, so I can accept like this, if I try to accept, and this will work. Of course, it works even if I uh, just match exactly the two numbers. So this will work. Now remember that when you buy something, you uh, so every item you buy has the value that you see here, for example, 10. But if I try to sell, uh, well, let's, uh, now let's make uh, this so I can explain better so now i am trying to buy one pick lock this is a value of 10 but when i try to sell him one pick lock the value will actually be half so as you see one pick lock is uh, five so to buy one pick lock i have to sell two pick locks that's just an example of course doesn't make sense but just so you get the idea uh, so if you have uh, an item with uh, uh, odd number, so like 25, uh, 33, I don't know, something like that, the value will be, in this case, will be 13, uh, or let's say healing herb, uh, 19 of value, so if I sell this, I will sell this for 10, okay? So for example, in this case, I can accept the trade like this. Uh, of course, you can also move the same thing with the stackable uh, items, so move to move uh, more items at uh, one uh, single time. You can press Ctrl, Shift and left arrow from your items and this will move 100 items. Of course, if you have less, it will move less. In this case, I have 10 pick clocks. Ctrl, Shift, left arrow will move 10 to the middle column. And in case of your nuggets, it will move 100. Now, let's say, for example, I want to buy some raw meat, 100. So I'll move this 100 to my invent to the middle column with one, just one, uh, one click. Let's say one, one action. Now, for example, in this case, of course, I can't accept because I am not giving him enough. Uh, stuff. So let's try to make a uh, like uh, more realistic uh, trade. So let's say, for example, I have some swords to sell that I don't need because I'm already fine. Uh, let's suppose I don't have a bow, so I will sell all the arrows that I have because I don't want to use a bow. 
let's say I don't want to use magic, so we'll sell all my scrolls. Uh, you usually do this when you have some items to sell and you don't need them, so you say I'll just uh, give them uh, away, so sell them and uh, buy, and I'll get some ornaires, for example. I plan to buy something else. So I can move food, for example, because I want to use only the potions. Okay, so I'm selling uh, the the stuff that I don't need. The swamp with picklocks, I can use them to open chests, for example. So I keep them, let's say, for example, I don't need the map because I already know it, uh, so it doesn't matter. I'll uh, sell the map, I'll, uh, the recipe for clown, well, now this is better <laughs> to keep it. But anyway, now I'll just try to match the two numbers. So in this case, what could I do? Uh, I could accept like this, for example, because I don't have anything else to sell. Or if, if I want to, I mean, if I want to get, uh, if I just want to, to do something quickly, I can just accept like this because it will work, I mean. But I can, of course, I can just match the numbers. So wait for the number to reach uh, 55. I am keeping, by the way, I'm keeping the control key and the right arrow key pressed to let them, uh, to let the number go up. So I don't, I'm not pressing uh, the, R, the arrow key once at a time, but I'm just keeping it pressed. Okay, so I am here, I can go to the middle column, enter, accept. If I do refuse, it just clears out the uh, exchange area, so I have to do everything again. I have to repeat all the, the trades, so try to not use a refuse, in my opinion, because you will lose everything, you have to do everything from the beginning. Unless that's your intention, but you can just go with ask the ask key and you can go back to the conversation. So just, rem just remember that the important thing is that you sell enough stuff for what you want to buy. So you have to have a number on the middle column on your right. It has to be at least the same or greater than the one on the left. And so you can accept. Okay, and this was all. Uh, this works with every merchant. So, for example, Dexter is another merchant. Uh, let's see if he stops drinking. Thank you. So, show me your goods. And this works the same way. So, let's suppose I want to have 20 for example and giving him more this will work because i'm giving him more than what i'm asking and that's it so this works for every merchant and they have all the same prices so you don't have special prices from any merchant and when you sell something it will always sell at the half of the value that you see written in the item like in this case it will be four or in this case it will be 13 and so on Okay, so I hope this video was clear enough to understand how trading works in the game. And thank you for watching. Remember that I have also a Facebook page and a Twitch channel. And I have a website, gaminghouse.community, where I write articles, guides, and so on. I have a complete guide written on my website for Gothic 1 and I have other articles, other tutorials how to find some characters like Graham or Neck or do some quests and things like that. And of course I have my YouTube channel so please leave a like to this video and subscribe to my channel. Let me know if this video was clear enough or if you have any questions just ask me in the comments. I will be I will do my best to answer and eventually I can also make other videos if you want to see something explained better. So again, thank you for watching. See you next time and have fun playing Gothic. Bye bye.